Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today we're going to have a look at a lovely little cross pen. I'm a huge fan of the Century Classic pens that cross do. In fact we've even got one for comparison's sake in the background. This is a pen that I fetch absolutely everywhere with me as part of my everyday carry but we'll get on to a few comparisons later on. So I suppose let's dive straight in and have a look which one we have got in here. Although the video title has probably already spoiled it and said that it is, I believe, a lustrous chrome is the title. Or you might want to call it silver, or at least silver looking. It's not actually silver, unfortunately. So that's our quick look at the box that the actual box comes in. I've got to say, I really do like these new boxes that they do with this um, sort of extra uh, textured layer on. And obviously you've got the strip of that around here again. Nothing wildly incredible to report about the box, but I'd say that definitely considering that pens and stuff are popular gift items and especially sort of higher end pens and like the sort of mid range pens like Cross do and stuff. Um, having such a nice little presented gift box is definitely a plus if you're sending these out as gifts. So I tend to give Lamy Safaris out to my friends and family for Christmas and birthdays. Although that's a Lamy Vista technically, but that's all boring pen talk. Um, so what we're actually here to see is this little beauty. What an absolutely lovely little creation, fair play. I love the absolute minimalism of these pens and this range that they do. I'll leave a link to these pens, these particular models on Amazon in the description. So you can see this is the black and gold version, as you can probably tell um, <laughs> of the chrome version here. But I suppose just a few notes on the little box here. What I really like is how that you've basically got the top part of the box that stands so high above the pen that for a perfect sort of shop display purposes, you can have the little uh, bit of documentation that comes with the pens just stood up there with that perfectly all laid out so the little bit of writing disappears and it's just there as a nice little display stand. So that's just something that I liked. Um, I'm not entirely certain what the tab to lift up for this extra space is for, but perhaps if you only keep refills in there or if you're using this to store your pen on a regular basis, obviously I suppose again, giving it as a gift, you could put extra bits and pieces in there. But oh, one final thing, one final thing before we have a close-up of the pen. Um, I quite like the way they always have these um, sort of little bit of ribbon over so that you can't see the elasticated, the two strips of elastic that go down here to obviously stop the pen wiggling about too much while it's in transport. So here we have it and I think we'll dive straight to a proper close-up of this pen so you can see one of the features that even in real life is pretty difficult to notice about the design of this pen. Right, let's get stuck in. So the first thing you might notice is the little detail of it saying cross on the clip there as well as cross written around the circumference of the pen. Got that little black tip there and what I wanted to show you in close-up was and it's very very difficult to really see this but you might be able to tell that even though it looks smooth and just a plain mirror there are actually these series of very fine little indented grooves that go from just about where the pen starts to reach its widest point there right down to almost the very tip of the pen that I'll show you in just a second and I think that helps with the grip and it's something like I say that you can even in real life almost not pick up yet alone in internet videos so if I pass this now through here to show you the tip all right you can see where ah that's actually a better view of these um, indented lines because you can actually see where they end there so that's pretty straightforward and simple now if I just try and angle myself so I'm not covering the pen up this is again going to be nothing revolutionary here but you simply twist the top and out comes the nib there. So again, very, very simple, and I'm sure I don't need to tell you how to use a pen. I've got to be honest and say that I've been eyeing up this pen for quite a while, so I was very pleased to get the opportunity in Chester today to pick it up at a good discount, so I took that opportunity straight away. And even when I was buying my black and gold pen, it was basically a contest between the two. So now I've got both in my little collection. Nothing major, I haven't got the world's greatest pen collection or anything, but these are just such small, thin, minimalist pens that I really absolutely love this design. Like I say, I'll leave a link to these two on Amazon so that you can see exactly which ones I'm talking about. And obviously shop around and the prices go up and down online all over the place. But again, nice and simple, twist, 
and you can see the nib comes out and obviously twists back and it retracts. So nothing wild or nothing extremely complex. So if we just pop this off here, I suppose we should just unscrew that and see what did it come with. Yeah, as expected, it's got a black medium uh, insert in there. Again, I quite like that. I've tried the fine um, refills and also the large refills. The large ones I found didn't really make much of a, a visible difference. Whereas I find that the me the fine refills actually tended to be a little bit scratchy, I thought, or a little bit scratchier than obviously the medium or the large, just with the basic principle of it's a smaller point that's scratching against the paper, I suppose. Well, this video has gone on a lot longer than I was expecting, so I will just simply scribble in the back of this notebook here, and hopefully that will give you the general gist that, yes, this is indeed a pen that writes stuff, so again, I'm quite sure that I don't really need to say. Well, again, that's very nice and smooth, that. And what I really like is how proper dark and thick the black ink is. It's not this sort of, even when you do it really fast, it doesn't start to really fade that much at all. It's still got a nice strong dark colour rather than some um, cheaper refills and inserts where obviously if you're trying to quickly scribble down, you start to get these really sort of faint little lines, like really sheepish faint little lines come across. But that's the general gist of that. So we'll wrap things up with a nice, very, very simple side-by-side -side comparison, just as a simple size comparison, really, so you can see why I've kept something like that as part of my everyday carry, which is literally attached to my Midori Traveller's notebook that I use as a wallet and take everywhere. As you can see, it's all battered. So check out my other videos for more on that. So we have got the Parker IM, which you can see, once again, there's a huge, huge size difference there. Then the Lamy Safari, or this is the Lamy Vista, which is basically just the see-through uh, Safari. This is a fountain pen here. So if we put those side by side again, huge, huge size difference. This is probably one of my favourite pens to actually write with, the old uh, Vista. But again, that's not really what we're here to talk about. And then more sort of uh, broadly available pens. We've got, um, you've probably seen one of these italic pens if you went to the school in the UK. Again, classic pen there. But again, even though it's actually pretty much the same size here, it's still a lot thicker, obviously. And again, if we throw a Sharpie in, they're pretty much the same length, but obviously the Sharpie is an awful lot thicker. And well, obviously you're not really going to want to use something like that as a general writing tool, especially not in a little notebook. Anyway, until the next time, check out my other videos as I've got loads and loads, a huge amount of pens and notebook videos. I'm just about to make myself a new homemade notebook to go in my traveller's uh, notebook. And well, I'll be doing a lot more diary stuff and bits and pieces like this for the future. Feel free to add me on Facebook, Twitter, like the Facebook page, all sorts of stuff. But basically, have a fantastic day. Keep it interesting, and until the next time, of course, farewell!